Good afternoon. We are delighted to have with us a young lady. What's your name? My name is Beletti, but you can call me Bebe. Okay, Bebe. Very good. And you were born? I was born in Boston, Massachusetts, but I actually never lived there because I lived in Haiti for about nine years with my mother. And after the earthquake, I came to Florida. And so you've been in Florida for the past seven years. Seven years. And now you are a sophomore. That yes. means now you're in college. So you yes. must be a very bright girl. <laughs> By the grace of God. <laughs> All right. And you enjoy school, huh? Eh? Oh, yes. You I enjoy love your school studies. very much. Do you intend to be anything in the future? You, have you made up your mind yet? Well, actually, now I am a biology major with a pre-medical concentration. And I do intend on going to medical school and becoming a medical doctor. I'm not sure what branch yet I would love to do. But I do know that I want to do missionary medicine. Beautiful. Yes. So you might even return to Haiti as a missionary. Most likely. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes. <laughs> do you? And uh, you seem to, we are at a convention, a Catholic Congress. You, you like to pray. Oh yes, I love to pray. Uh, it's a really satisfying feeling. Very, very good. You received the sacrament of First Communion, of course, and Confirmation. <laughs> Did you receive Confirmation? Yes, in what? Haiti. In Haiti, yeah? Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, so, but now you are here. Are you involved in your church in any capacity? Actually, I used to be in the youth group at my church, but now I'm in part of the liturgical group. So mm -hmm. I do Sunday readings, and I'm, at, I'm also active at my school. I go to a Christian school. It's not Catholic, but they do a lot of mission trips, and mm -hmm. I've had the opportunity to go on two mission trips with them. And uh, those Where have to? been recently. Mm -hmm. The first one was to Jamaica for spring break, and that was amazing. And over the summer, we went to the Ivory Coast in Africa. The Ivory Coast? Yes. I've had an experience. Right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, you remain strongly Catholic, and you get along nicely with them. Yes. And they don't resent you for not being the... No, they're so loving. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I think other nations that are protestant they are much more welcoming and they don't push you to changing your religion i usually find that it's in the haitian community the protestant wants you to convert to become a protestant wow. yes all right very good because you know jesus wants all the christians to be one yes he insisted father let there be one just as i am one with you and you are one with me yes. let them be completely one yes. so the unity of the christian yes. is a great great misfortune Shh. it is very good so you want to be a, a, probably a doctor and to be involved in missionary work yes. okay uh, where is your parish? Where is it exactly? Well, my parish is in West Palm Beach, Florida. It's St. Anne Parish, and it's in the Diocese of Palm Beach. Okay. And you have a good Haitian community there, too? Yes, we have a good Haitian community. And nous on parle les créoles, que tu vas passer 7 ans en Haïti. Oui, moi parle les créoles et je parle aussi le français. Tu parles très bien le français? Oui. Où as-tu appris le français? Bon, en Haïti, j'étais à l'école chez les sœurs. Quelle sœur? J'étais à Sainte-Rose. Avant, Saint j'étais à Bourdon. Et à, ensuite, j'étais à Sainte-Rose. Mais la lue. <rire> ah, mais la lue, d'accord. Et donc, uh, tu as bien profité de ton temps en Haïti. Bien sûr. Et puis, now you are here. You take full advantage of everything that this community offers you. Of course. So you are a young lady. Now you are growing. You are a young adult, a young Christian adult. Yes. And you believe that your faith helps you very much. Definitely. Okay. Because Jesus wants us to really get control of this world through knowledge, through science, but to put all this knowledge and science in the service of our brothers and sisters. Yes, for after I came here, I actually, my mom, I didn't come with my mother. 
so I was living with family and friends and my faith really helped me keep going if I'm still here right now it's because of my faith because I've been through a lot since I came here I was very young and I was not with my mother and my faith has really kept me going we are really delighted and then we have uh, we are going to develop our radio solidarity we are going to develop what we call a youth talk show so you should leave us with your address do you have a skype uh, you have skype also i do so we will be interviewing you uh, brother top will be interviewing you and you will be part of the talk show and bring some of your friends as well. I would be well. delighted Wonderful. because I am actually trying to start an organization at my school. It is to help um, young Haitian um, students in the community because most of the time we realize that some of our Haitian students, they don't get to make it as far or they don't have certain support in their families because their parents are working so hard to help them um, have a stable living but then they lack certain attention and they lack certain attention in school they lack some help so i want to start this organization first at my school so that we could mentor out to the students in high school if we are where we are now the older haitian students that are in college therefore we can use ourselves as a motivation for these younger students and it's also like a cultural revival to help other Haitian students understand um, their culture and understand the pride of their culture it's like how can I still embrace my culture while I'm in the United States and still kind of merge some of the American culture while Absolutely. still conserving my culture very good <laughs> that sounds extremely interesting and I think uh, I pray that the Lord will bless you so that we can fulfill your dreams <laughs> and so that you can also participate in our talk show so that we can inspire other young people to do Definitely. like you and to discover the power and the beauty of Jesus Christ. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank, Thank you so, you so very much. much. It was very nice Thank you. meeting with you. It was very an much. honor. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.